Hello. And welcome to a new video. Um, we are now currently in lockdown. Number two. Number two. Um, and we haven't done a video for quite a while because we've had a lot of things going on in our lives. And we've actually been busy enjoying the boat while yeah. we could and yeah. did lots of things on it. Yes, we so. did. But uh, now lockdown's here, we thought we'd uh, try and put some of our videos together and make yeah. a new YouTube video for you all. Yeah, we'll throw out a couple of three in quick succession if we're lucky enough to do so. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this one is uh, us finishing off everything in the boat. Yeah, basically. Um, and then we'll go through some of the jobs we've done to finish it and then Kim did a guided tour yep. of everything on the boat. So, enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. Oh, and remember, this is oh. all post lockdown very important yeah oh. when we could yeah. move freely post lockdown or pre 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 pre, pre 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 lockdown yeah. when we had movement uh, freedom of movement that we could stay overnight and visit and all the sorts of things that you can normally do when yeah. you're not in lockdown exactly so all right hope you enjoy yeah enjoy Kim's just filling a hole that we had here so that we can carry on painting first coat's pretty much done, so we're going to carry on with the second coat in a little while. in underneath here somehow now and across there and then this is all going to be black like the burnt like the units and shaped and then it's just a little corner seat and somewhere to put knickknacks and stuff I don't think it'll be too much in the way of everything do you? No, I think that'll be fine yeah, yeah. okay then all right yeah. Let's something like that yeah we are just a fraction short don't yeah we've just got to find a bit of wood to go in there too much about that but obviously I don't think that would matter too much if we have this to here and leave a gap that in to make that you can get this out because obviously this is all functioning around yeah, a, a water, water gauge. gauge and then in under here is the shuttle valve for the water tank which is which in doesn't front. work but we need yeah, to get but to you it. still need to get to it yeah. so that's what all of this kerfuffle is about yeah okay so we've got all our laminate flooring on the boat ready to go down and we're going to put a piece at the back aren't we we are so it all matches in nicely I was just getting the air and so I can cut it in a minute of a big seat. the first bit cut and screwed into place uh, we'll put some kind of edging over this when we're ready and we can find something but that's not looking too bad crack on with the floor now here we are back again for more of the same more flooring laminate's going to go down we're bringing this floor up to the height of that timber there which goes right underneath in the front so we can't mess about with it so we're simply bringing this all up to this height and then laminating over there's the man himself yep cutting the next piece so you know what we're doing today show you a little bit of progress we're coming along nicely 
we get in there get in there yep we've got a bit more to do that way and a bit more to do that way and then we're done we are getting further and further along not too much further to go to this point here really good yeah very pleased with that excess removal it. yeah three packs left over but we can use them at home somewhere so we're not too worried and we've made it to the end just got to do a, an edge jobby there and that's it cool morning's work what do you reckon yeah okay Cover. Well, that's the covering. Okay. That's the covering. Yeah, one thing. One thing. Now off to get the mattress. Here he comes, fall in the water, <laughs> or slip in the water, it's been raining, gently does it, good job it's not heavy, look where you're going, that's it, and a board, right. gently, 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 wait a minute and I'll take the yes. end of it. Okay, so that's one mattress aboard boat is getting smaller and smaller he's now off to get the base the rest of the sofa as I say one very full looking boat don't know if this is going to go anywhere it should do yet this is going to be so interesting I'll just film you struggling with it I'll just film you struggling with it Yep. I'll film you coming to the boat and then we'll cut. <laughs> okay. Right, I'll help you get it. There we go. See, so that's it. I've got up now. I have moved. This is the big takeover sofa. We'll get used to it. It's comfy, kind of. Okay, now the next job is I'm taking up all these vinyl tiles. There's two layers, they stuck extremely well, and I'm having to use a screwdriver to try and push them off. It's not much fun, it's a. Uh... But we didn't want to leave them. Yeah, putting black carpet tiles over the top, we don't really want this underneath it. Fun jobs. Yeah. I'll just sit on the new sofa. Yeah. You, you relax. I'm going to. Yeah. Is it nice on the new sofa? It's all right. Now it's in. Good. Now that we stop stropping about it. We don't strop, do we? Not much. No. Bright light to sunbathe under. Uh -huh. That makes a change. It does. Oh, yes. Every time I film it goes. <laughs> yep, somebody texts me. I am so in demand. You are, aren't you? Right. That looks nice. As you can see, I am painting 
the strange colour that we have in our downstairs cloakroom at home. And as we've got tons of it left over, I thought we'd have it on the wall here, but only on one wall. Yeah. Feature wall in the loo. Yeah, why not? Lovely. Yeah, will be. I need a couple of coats, it'll be fine. Yeah. Appealing. Appealing, yeah, what yeah. it did last time. Yeah. That's what. Hi, right, um, we recently lost our Westy Jock, um, he was 15 years old and he was quite ill so we, we had to have him put to sleep and we were very very upset and devastated as you can imagine. Um, so a week ago we thought we'd get a puppy so that we had some, something else to concentrate on and help us with our upset. So we've got a Jack Russell puppy and we're going to train him to go onto the narrow boat. So to that end we've got a as you know a reflex heater on the narrow boat and we want to build a fire guard to stop him getting too close to it and also it will keep us away as well. So we've been cutting metal um, we, we've got these metal um, cutting machines, punches, twisters, all sorts of stuff for a, a few years ago and I did a few little projects with them but um, we've decided we'll have a go at uh, building a fire guard. So we've cut the metal, I've ground it down so there's no sharp edges, and I'm now punching holes because it's going to be all riveted together in three separate sections. So this is the puncher, and it's quite dramatic when you actually punch a hole in it. And it's quite tough. And there you go. So we've got to do the next nine of these and then we'll start working on the uprights. Okay, so we've punched all the holes um, and now I'm riveting the frames together. Before we put all the thin uprights on. So let's have a go at this again. Oh. Very fiddly. this and then we can paint it. Well not in the best way of finishing it but we're making use of everything we've got and not going out to buy anything else so that we don't have to go to shops or anywhere and buy things yeah. unless we really have to. Well, that's, that's the end of all my metal now so yeah. <laughs> I have to buy some more at some point. Yeah. Well, this is the first thing I've made for years. Enough. Just want to protect our very nice laminate flooring. Yeah. What should that? Oh, for the sake of a little puppy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this is it between coats. Needs another couple. Did you get that bit? Yeah, you did. We're at the boat. Yeah, we're at the boat. Yeah. Lovely day. A bit windy. And we've got him with us, yeah. Him 
the new little creature. Oh. So this is his first time here. And he likes the sofa, which we've covered in a throw. And we need more towels. He's enjoying himself. He is. It'll be remain to be seen whether we do. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, he's just a poopy. A poopy? A poopy. Mm. A little poopy. I think he's a puppy. I think he's a rug rat. the right way round. Gnashes out. So this is Milo. How old is he now? Uh, nearly 13, 13 weeks. 13 weeks. Nearly. Yeah. Not quite. Tuesday. Yeah. Goes for his second training session on Monday. He did very well at the first one so hopefully it will keep going. Yeah. Won't it? It will. Yeah. So we put a guard a on the back so they can't get out. Sit, sit down. So Good boy. we'll see how it all goes. We need the yeah. wasp to go out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've got a minute to myself. I'm going to show you all around the place now that it's pretty much done and dusted. Um, so come on a tour with me. This is the uh, trunk and all the drawers, everything are in place. Cushions. And we've made this nice corner bit to hide the watery stuff behind it. I'm sure I've done this video before but anyway I'll do it again. There's the fireplace. Soon to have its new guard surround for our new resident. Um, going up gently. We've seen the curtains, we've got Gromit, a gift from our daughter, and then slowly all in behind here is all our storage, bedding, various bits and bobs. There's the bungs that I've made um, that fit over the two round windows. This is my snazzy light fitting that uh, I made of uh, cute lights. Might put that on another time. Then obviously we have the nice finished laminate flooring and a little cosy rug, and the dog cage, that's a new addition. Then underneath the throw we have got our very nice sofa. We might actually do a, a film on just putting that up and seeing it as a bed. Um, coming forward there's the table, TV, we now have an aerial so we can watch TV properly. Um, coming into the kitchen we've got all my various bits and bobs the cupboard that was here that's now the other way up and has lots of cooking stuff inside I've definitely done this film before I know I have um, that's Stephen sitting there waiting we've got the zingy zangy lights fridge is all in place, it's all shut down now ready to go home. The cooker is now working because it's been repaired. The cupboard underneath is all finished and then I have now finished the drawers. I decided to go for the same take on the cupboards I'd already done. So a little bit of burning on the woodwork under the fridge but the drawers and everything I've gone for the same look as the other side. Decided that I liked that idea. I was also a bit worried that unless I took the fronts off, if I'd burnt these, the plastic might have melted. Okay, so then we've got the, the sink, yep, and round. And then I don't think you've been in here yet. Let's go wait for this. This is the decorated toilet. Whoa, dun dun dun. We have. Lots of my wacky painting, glass beads and wallpaper just in set and thrown about and done. And then we've got the nice little sink and tile and the cupboard that we made. And we now have carpet tiles on the floor. Um, and I like the nice mulberry colour or whatever it is on the, the back wall 
and that's a copy of a birthday card that I received from a friend of mine that I thought looked nice on the wall. Okay, I think that's pretty much it, other than great excitement. Yep, yeah, I've fitted a charger today so that when we're on shore power we can charge the 12 volt batteries in the winter because the solars won't be doing much then and what else have we done? We've serviced the engine, painted the... Moved the horn, oh, yeah. the horn. We painted the bilge. We painted the bilge. We've serviced the en engine, that will be on another video I think. Yep. Um, we have got a very nice new um, tiller tiller pin. pin, but the piece of brass that it was fitted with, we didn't do this, which is why it doesn't work, <laughs> um, isn't big enough even though it's supposed to be. So we've got to do something oh, about that. Yeah, I've fitted a detachable aerial as well. So we weren't going to have TV when we get when we bought the boat, but we thought we might as well because some evenings it's probably nice to watch something. We'll catch up on the we'll news and the COVID the situation. Yeah. So put a detachable pole in, and the aerial stays in the front gas locker. Yeah. Just connect it up. Okay. Okay. So I think that's us. Yep. Suddenly remembered. I've got Joe to make me another piece of leather that I can fit my very nice wooden pepper grinder in so that when we're going along it doesn't fall over. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. And just one other little thing. Joe has made us a very nice leather, if I can open it one handed, navigator's logbook. I think it might take us a bit of time to fill that. But anyway, that's all nicely done in her leather, all hand cut, hand finished. She makes a lovely job of these things. If anybody is interested, I'm sure she could quote you for one. That's the end of another video. Hope you enjoyed it and catch us in the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.